Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, No Nonsense Strength Training. And I'm bringing you my No Nonsense Strength Workout, my Squat Workout. It is one of the good uh, memories that I have from my recent workouts, I must say. Um, my sacroiliac joint pain has gotten much better. And I think that was one reason I was not able to hit my depth. And um, me lifting a little lighter has been helping as I have updated you that I will be around 130 kg, 140 kg, 150 kg mark and I'll be doing higher volume. Now, talking about higher volume, that's a bit of a challenge for me. But uh, why it is a challenge is not because uh, I, I can't or I don't like doing more sets. It is just that I miss not lifting heavy and to be more precise when I say lifting heavy because it could be relative. For a strong man, it is nothing. So for me, uh, almost 80, 85 or 90% of my assumed 1RM, which is let's say 190 kg, is uh, it's pretty high uh, lifting 180 kg. So I was feeling really good. And I was very pumped to do five sets of five type of a workout. But there is something called auto-regulation. I, I don't know if you guys have heard, but it just means, you know, you are regulating an everyday basis of how you are going and you are not following the program as rigidly. Well, in this case, at least I did follow what I had set out to do uh, uh, three, four weeks ago to correct my depth is to lift lighter. And I had been doing that for a few weeks, uh, let's say week and a half, so like five or six workouts. And uh, this session was feeling good and I said, I am going to try 180 kg. So you guys will see how it went. I also, what I do every now and then as a change uh, or as a part of auto-regulation is I express my warm-ups. I gen mostly I would classify myself as a person, as a lifter who takes a little uh, while to get warmed up and I do lots of small sets before I do my working set, lots of warm-up sets. And at some point the warm-up sets do get heavy and in my mind I call them build-up set. So, but every now and then I just jump on, I will add something like 20 kgs each uh, warm-up sets and I will come up to my 50 kg now as you can see. So that is the benefit of auto-regulation, but auto-regulation is not done on a whim. Uh, it is not done uh, on uh, that I'm missing lifting heavy. I was feeling good, I was moving well and uh, I think... You will see, I think around after the first or second set with 150, I decided I could, I'm really pumped and primed to have a go at 180. I, I should not be because um, I would be tired, but 160, so now you will see 160 single. So yes, I, I by auto regulation, I mean that as well. You still factoring in a lots of, information with in in your mind um, if I hadn't had a good sleep the night before I wouldn't be doing that at all there is just no point I would do that so I was feeling good I was well rested um, and uh, yes it was not all of a sudden type thing so that is the workings and process in in how you get to auto regulation so here it is 180 um, and uh, I think uh, it's up to you guys to see if you're happy with the depth. Let's have a look. Nice walkout. A little slower on the ascent, I think I could have driven better with my hips. But yes, quite happy with a set of 3 variety kg. Um, 
I think I keep going back to my past, but I should not. So I will not go. Happy with this. 180 kg, pretty solid. And uh, I think I do have some back offsets as well. So I, I, I don't think so. This is something that I will do often. But I wanted to highlight uh, the power of feeling good, basically. And feeling good, not just because you are feeling good, you want to feel good, but you factor in other information how tired you are, um, how good of a sleep you had. Maybe you had two days of no lifting and you're fresh. And uh, yes, I think 180 kg was a little bit of ambitious. I don't think so. I thought that I will do three reps. I was thinking one rep. So yes, auto-regulation is quite a thing. Uh, I think it is more applicable to strength training than hypertrophy training because in strength training, you are really working on your mind. Because uh, strength training, getting strong, is a neurologic nervous system adaptation. And for that, you need a pretty clear and strong mind. And for hypertrophy, you can just go on and pick up something light and do heaps and heaps of reps mindlessly. Anyway, back off set, 150 kg. Here we go. I need to push my butt back a little bit more. Otherwise, I'm happy with my descent. Ascent is pretty bouncy. Like it. So yeah, let me know in comments if you guys have ever heard of auto-regulation or maybe you have heard of this term in some other thing, some other line of work, you know, auto-regulation seems like a very technical word. Could it be something which is in IT field? But yes, I think its application and its interpretation is very appropriately used for strength training. The individual, the lifter has to be aware of uh, lifters like me, we are rec I'm recreational. I don't strictly follow a program, but there is an overarching uh, kind of basis, which is, you know, small reps, uh, low volume, high intensity type. And then uh, depending on my work, my shift work, what I'm doing, I correct things as they go. Here we go. Second set or third set, I should say, but second set of 150. Nice. I have noticed that when I'm wearing green shorts and blue shirt, blue t-shirt, I've done some pretty good lifting. Just watching my my <laughs> few videos that I was watching. Are you superstitious like that? I'm not at all, but maybe I should uh, start being superstitious and put on these combination of colors and... Uh, Get to my 200 kg. So there you go, guys. 180 kg means, obviously, common sense. I'm 20 kg away from my 200 kg squat. And uh, I am going to bring you an update shortly where I'll highlight my journey so far. I do believe I'm close, but I don't want to rush. I am on a phase where I will be doing a medium to lightweight more often for more higher volume. Uh, it might be uh, too ambitious to think that I will do it before the end of this year, but I might have a crack at it. That's for sure. And uh, I will share that with you guys. I'm so tired and I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm doing with my tongue out like that. But yes, so look at that. Squat dance. I start feeling happy. Nice jiggle. So yes, I think... Um, I'm close, but I have to just restrain and keep on the path by following the program properly. And if I have days like this where I'm feeling good, I'll go for it. And let's see what happens. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you know the importance of auto-regulation. And uh, please like and subscribe the video. And I'll keep coming back with more of my video on my road to 200 kg squat. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.